This is Tom. Tom is a 20-year-old student who has just gone for a test, the PHQ-9 test. The PHQ-9 is a survey form of a test which has two parts. Tom completed the entire test and the result is out. He is diagnosed with depression and was given a certain score. You see, Tom has certain preferences. He can only speak Malay, he lives in the East, and would rather not travel very far. He will have to see a practitioner to help him with his depression, and he prefers a female practitioner as he thinks he can relate to them better. Well, the thing is that Tom isn't alone. There are many people like him with depression, varying degree of depression. Let's hold it there and turn our attention to the practitioner for a minute. The practitioner can be a counsellor, a psychologist, or a psychiatrist. Patients with varying degree of depression will have to, to see these different practitioners. And these practitioners have quite different language abilities. They will either be a male or female. Further, they will normally be working at a certain location. Now, there are many of them. So the question is, how to match the many patients to the many practitioners. Our depression screening system matches depressed patients with mental health practitioners based on two hard constraints and four soft constraints. The hard constraints are patients' depression severity and language ability. The soft constraints are patients' preference for the day of the appointment, where the practitioners are located, gender of the practitioners, and treatment costs. Starting with the heart constraint, our system scores the severity of a patient's depression with a number from 0 to 27. Patients with scores between 10 to 27 require treatment. A, scores, a score between 10 to 40 indicates that a patient is moderately depressed and the patient should see a counsellor. A score between 15 to 19 indicates that a patient's depression is moderately severe and the patient should see a psych psychologist. A score between 20 to 27 indicates that a patient is severely depressed and the patient should see a psychiatrist. Patient and mental health practitioner needs to communicate and understand each other during treatment. The system pairs patients with mental health practitioners who share at least one language in common. Patient and mental health practitioners can speak one or more of these languages English, Mandarin, Malay or Tamil Our system optimizes the matching of patients with practitioners through fulfilling four sort of constraints Patients will indicate the day of the week, Monday to Sunday that they prefer to see the practitioners The system will try to match patients with practitioners who are available on the preferred day Patients will indicate where they would prefer to see the practitioner. There are five regions to choose from Central, East, North, Northeast, and West. The system will try to match patients with practitioners working in their preferred region. Patients will indicate whether they prefer to see female or male practitioner, which the system will try to match accordingly. Finally, the system will try to pair patients with practitioners that have lower treatment costs to keep the overall health care expenditure low. Our patient scheduling system complements the depression screening system through recommending practitioners to depressed patients who require treatment. Depressed patients may find it challenging to navigate the local mental health service landscape. They may not know the kind of treatment that is required for their severity of depression and how to locate this uh, treatment. Counselors, psychologists and psychiatrists are best suited to treat depressed patients with certain level of severity. Counselors typically work with moderately depressed patients. Psychologists typically work with patients with moderately severe depression and psychiatrists work with severely depressed patients. Organizations located in the community such as family service centers, polyclinic, Hospitals and the Institute of Mental Health provide treatment to depressed patients. But not all kinds of treatments are available from this institution. For example, patients typically can find, can find services provided by counselors and psychologists in family service centers, but psychiatric services can only be found in hospitals. <laughs>